with you to tell you the story from the first flight book. This is the first chapter in the first flight book, which is a portion for CBSE grade 10. The title of the story is A Letter to God. The title is so interesting, isn't it? The title. From the title, we can get to know that someone has written a letter to God. And in this story, we are going to get to know whether he had received the reply from God or what, what had happened. That's the interesting part in this story we are going to see. The author of the story is G. L. Quinter, a Mexican author. He was a Mexican author, a novelist and also a poet. He has written many stories. Most of them were humorous. This is one of the humorous collections and in this story the author had represented the life of a farmer. The life of a hard working farmer who had strong faith in God. The name of the farmer is Lencho. Lencho is a hard working farmer who had strong faith in God and even though was a hard working woman, he knew little to read and write. We are going to see the life story of Lencho. And if you get to know that, Lencho is the person who has written the letter to God. We are going to see why he has written the letter and what he has got as a reply. The author has started the story by explaining the house where Lencho was living. Lencho was living in a solitary house, the only one house in the entire valley which is situated on the top of a low hill. Lecho was living with his family in that house and from that point one could see the entire field of ripe corn and the river flowing through it. Like all farmers, Lecho had also ploughed the land so the seeds and did every work in the field and just was waiting for a downpour which will bring the good hours. The older boys were walking in the field and the younger ones were playing near the house. Throughout the morning, Lencho had done nothing but looking at the northeast direction for the downpour. It gets darker, the woman inside the house called everyone for the dinner. Lencho, the older boys and the younger one. Everyone came inside the house and started having their meal. It was during the dinner, Lencho smelled the fresh air. After smelling that, he went outside of the house and looking at the northeast direction as just as he had predicted, huge mountains of clouds were approaching him. He was very happy. It was just as he predicted the, it was uh, going to happen. He was very happy. He got out just to feel the pleasure of the rain on his body. He came inside the house. He was very excited and explained it to the family. These are not rain. They are new coins. He compared the raindrops with the coins which he will yield from the harvest. So he compared raindrops with the coins. He said that the big drops are tens and pieces and the small ones are fives. He was very happy and he went outside and watching the rain and suddenly things got changed. A big storm came in. It changed the rain, raindrops into hails. It changed the raindrops into hails. It became hail storm. Hails are the ice balls. Large ice balls started falling from the sky. It fell here, it fell there, it fell on everywhere. It fell on the fields, it destroyed half of it and Lencho was praying in his mind 
it should pass quickly or it would destroy everything the whole the boys inside the house exposed themselves and started collecting the ice balls as it is looked like new silver coins they started collecting and they were enjoying collecting the ice balls but lencho was not happy lencho was very sad the hail it destroyed everything for nearly an hour it it was falling from the sky it destroyed completely hail storm destroyed everything lencho was standing in the middle of the field and was praying to god he couldn't do anything he was saying to his family if it was a plague of locusts that would have left something but this hail has destroyed everything we don't have any food for this year we all go hungry the soul was filled with sadness locusts are the insects that eat crops just like grasshoppers throughout the night he was thinking about it he felt very sad and he was praying to god after the next he was thinking deeply in his mind and he knew that god sees everything even in one's mind in the next morning it was sunday he woke up early in the morning and picked up a letter and started writing a letter to god he doesn't know what to do so he started writing a letter to god he mentioned in that letter god if you don't help me my family and i will go hungry this year i need a 100 pesos in order to sow my field again and to live with the live until the crop comes because the hail storm had destroyed completely pesos pesos it means mexican currency like a piece pesos is a mexican currency he asked for 100 pesos he didn't ask more than that he he wasn't uh, ready to live happily with his family he just asked 100 pesos for what just to sow his land until the crop comes live until the crop comes such a good man he was after writing the letter he picked up the letter and put it inside the envelope and wrote he doesn't know the address of god so he wrote to god he picked up the letter he went straight to the post office and got a stamp from the postman affixed it in the envelope and put it in the mailbox and left the post office once he had left the post office the postman who helped him at the post office ran quickly and picked that letter and started laughing never in his career he had seen such a letter he doesn't know the address of god he doesn't know how to deliver this letter to god he was laughing he was laughing out loudly and picked up the letter and showed it to the postmaster both were laughing suddenly the postmaster started tapping the bench and asked to stop laughing he was feeling for that man he said that i wish i had a face like the man who had written the letter he wanted to help lencho so he picked up a letter and ink and paper ink and pen started writing it the postmaster is going to write the reply to lencho he wanted more not only the paper ink and pen he wanted money which he has asked 100 pesos so the postmaster gave a part of his salary and asked for his employees to give something and he asked his several friends for an act of charity he collected all the amount together but it just got up to 70 pesos he asked 100 pesos that the postmaster collected was able to collect only 70 pesos 
he put all the money in the envelope and the letter in that letter he he wrote nothing but the signature god why he had written the signature god and not his name because he doesn't want to shake the faith of lencho so he has written god in that letter put it inside and wrote the lencho address on the envelope and in the next week in the next week sunday lencho came very early to get his reply from god lencho was expecting a letter from god once he reached the post office the postman gave the letter to him and the postmaster want to see the satisfaction and he was sitting in his room and was looking at lencho how he is going to get satisfied but lencho was not surprised a little bit not even a single shock he had shown in his face so he was expecting the letter from god he was uh, he had such a strong faith he opened the envelope and picked up the letter and got the money he started counting it once he started counting it he got very angry he asked god for 100 pesos god never cheat anyone god gives what he asked he knew that so he didn't doubt god but he doubted the people in the post office he was very angry he picked the paper and going to the public writing table on that table he started writing the second letter to god he started writing the letter to god and god out of of the money you sent i received only 70 pesos i need the remaining amount it is very needed for me please send the money fast but next time if you send money to me don't send it through the mail because the people in the post office are a bunch of crooks people in the post office are a bunch of crooks crooks which means this honest people who are not loyal he doubted the post office people had uh, stolen stolen the 30 pesos that's the end of the story let us now discuss some of the important questions in the story what did lencho hope for lencho hoped for the rain for the downpour which will bring the good powers Why did Lencho say the rain drops were like new coins? Lencho compares the rain drops with the new coins which he is going to get after the harvest. After the harvest, he will pick up all the crops and sell it to the market. There he would get the coins. There he would get the money. He that's why he compares the rain drops with new coins. that one how did the rain change what happened to lencho's field the rain suddenly changed into a hailstorm and the hail the lot ice balls fell on everywhere on the ground and destroyed the whole field the rain changed into hailstorm and it destroyed lencho's field What were the lencho's feeling when the hail stopped? After the hail storm, lencho stand in the middle of his field and felt sad. He was feeling sad. His soul was filled with sadness. He thought he and his family would go hungry this year because all of his work it's for nothing. Who did Lencho have faith in? What did he do? Lencho had a strong faith in God. 
he has a lost hope is the help from god so he started writing a letter to god what did the postmaster do then after reading that letter the postmaster wished to reply this letter he came up with an idea to answer the letter without shaking the faith of the writer so he collected the amount from all his employees he gave a part of his salary and got some amount from his friends as an act of charity what made lencho angry lencho received the reply letter from the postman after seeing that letter he started counting the money but 30 pesos was missing that's why he got angry he asked for 100 pesos but he received only 70 pesos so he was angry i hope this video have helped you if you have really learned something today please hit the like button and click subscribe for more videos thank you so much for watching this video see you soon